question from Dhiman now. He says he's taken a home loan of 3 crore rupees uh, from Bajaj Finance at 10.57% interest about two years back. Now, he, was, he has taken possession of his flat four months ago. With rate cuts happening, other banks are now offering him uh, a 9.2% interest rate. If he switches over his home loan to another bank, will he have to pay foreclosure charges? Uh, Diman, the, the answer is, is very clear on that. Uh, you know, uh, firstly, uh, you can easily transfer your loans. Um, and and if, if your loan is done on the basis of your own income and a company, you know, uh, whether it is your own company is not an applicant, then you will not have to pay any foreclosure charges. Uh, but before moving on to uh, other uh, bank or an institution, uh, one thing I would definitely say is, uh, you know, talk to your bankers. You know, first go and talk to them and say, hey, look, you know, because usually, you know, uh, nobody would like to lose a good customer and they would definitely like to retain uh, that. And, 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 and there are institutions who have a very, very strong uh, retain uh, customer retention policies uh, and you also need to remember that in the initial years of your loan the higher component of your EMI goes towards servicing the loan which is towards your interest payment and hence in the initial years it makes a lot of sense to to keep on renegotiating your rates, though as a banker, you know, it, it affects us, but in the interest of a customer, it definitely helps because that savings goes directly to your uh, interest and hence larger amount gets apportioned to your loan amount. So then those are great words to live by. If you take a home loan in the initial years of your home loan, makes sense to negotiate your interest rate which is why we also keep saying that don't just take the home loan go and sit home happy that the money is going from your bank via ECS uh, you need to remember that you have to be very very proactive as far as your home loan is concerned uh, because chances are that unless you go and ask your banker uh, for a better deal the better deal is not going to come knocking at your door you need to go and ask for that and even that's, it's, uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Ask your banker first and then uh, look to uh, switch over. You'll actually uh, probably change, uh, you'll uh, save a lot in terms of processing fees at least. If uh, foreclosure charges, of course, you do not uh, need to pay. Uh, also, before we move on, this is a question that we are getting a lot of uh, these days, Harshil. Uh, especially with, uh, you know, a couple of banks have already uh, announced uh, interest rate cuts. Uh, we've seen that happen uh, of late, uh, that is before the credit policy at least. Uh, what would you advise people right now uh, if they are looking to switch their home loans? Uh, what kind of a differential should they be really looking at? When does it really make sense for you to switch your home loan? <clears throat> See, any, uh, there, are, there are two areas you need to look at and it's always not necessarily the interest rate because many times it is also a question of of the tenure of the loan, mm. you know. Uh, for example, you may be at a at a tenure which is just about 10 years or 12 years, you know, and uh, there is an EMI which is being paid. Your focus on that if is lowering of an EMI and if you are getting an offer which gives you a higher tenure loan, mm. but it may be let's say 15, 20, 25 basis more, but in, in essence, if your monthly EMI is coming down and that suits your requirement, then you should go for it, okay? However, if you were to just do a plain apples to apple comparison and moving from one, unless and until you don't see a benefit which exceeds more than 100 basis points in the long run, it really does not make tremendous amount of sense for two reasons. One is the fact that you still have to go about doing all the paperwork because you still have to go and apply for it. And number two, there could also be, you know, uh, processing fees, which right, which right. Uh, come into the picture. Uh, so, so you should look for at least a 1% differential in interest rates. Only then uh, does it really make sense for you to go through all of that paperwork to switch your home loan from one bank or one home finance company to another. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button.
You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.